Oh, hello, everybody! Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Star Maid. Excellent! So everyone, grab your your drinks. Oof! Ah, the dang it! The drink I had didn't do anything. <laughs> I was hoping to do like a ch sound there. Anyways, you grab your drinks and your tasty treats, and let's get started with a whole bunch of Star Maid stuff. So. I've kind of been busy and kind of not. I've been busy in real life and I've been kind of busy in the game. Nothing much has changed up here. All this stuff will disappear and will change up here at some point. I need to create a docking system. Um, oh yeah, tab G to get your, your HUD back up. <laughs> oh man, so I built a bunch of rails and I... I kind of messed around with some logic and, and all that. Now we're doing carved Laramar, is that correct? Yeah, I think I did everything else. I did the, the Lucra, did the Dolom. Uh, so these are all just kind of materials now for construction. Kind of tried to organize this a bit to see what's going on. Kind of changed the coloring of this a little bit. Redesigned it a bit. Ah, uh, you see my little Laramar display, or wonderful Laramar. All its wonderful uses. It's, it's such a beautiful resource. Uh, yes. Okay. And we have all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's some sort of storyline with this stuff, and that you know, this is like a drug in the server, and all that fun stuff, and it allows access. And so yeah. So I have it on display here because we fully use Laramar to profit from. We we harvest the Laramar, we process it, and then we sell it back to the galaxy. As long as stores continue to accept it, we shall sell. <laughs> sell, sell, sell. So this is the fun, exciting thing that I've been working on is this. And I need to fix the corners on here because you can fall through these. And the intention of this is to have it so that way you cannot you know, kind of like enter the base unless you, you can press the button, right? So basically, I created these pads here to sit down on. Uh, T to sit down. You align to it. When you sit on these, you kind of do something funky, right? Like your character kind of hovers, and <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe it's the slab, uh, you know, like how the slab does the, the collision masking, or however they do that. So yeah, so basically you, you everyone one would sit down, and our ship would be docked. You know, just imagine a big dock here. It's going to be kind of up off the ground a bit. I might use the, the whole carrier stuff on the planet just to see what happens if you can make it come in and dock. You can do it for stations potentially, I think, and I think you can do it for ships. So I want to kind of try it on the planet because I don't know if that's been done. I'm not sure if anyone has done that, but I just want to do it that way. So yeah, so we're going to activate this and bang, look at this. Now there's there could be some tweaking that could be done to this. Um, yeah, see how it kind of jams up there like that? I'm going to turn my flashlight on. So there could be some tweaking that could happen. Oh, yeah, there's, I missed some materials up there to harvest. So, yeah, so anyways, we come down. Yeah. Very, very laggy because I think it has something to do with the collision here. So I need to change this behavior a little bit. And then we come in down here and bang. Now here we are. Now we're all, all nestled in. We're able to stand up um, I want to put a gravity pad in the middle of this so that way people can use it I don't know if it should be in the middle now because it's going to block out the light and I don't know if I want that might have to put two lights on the side of this to counteract that I need to put lights on the inside we need to repackage the inside I need to make it kind of slant upwards so I need to remove whole you know like a section of block all the way up uh, down here we kind of have all of this. Now the logic is hidden behind here. Here I have kind of the part of the logic of the lift. This is where you kind of activate the lift to, to bring this up and down type of thing. And I'm planning on creating an access. Maybe create it right here. Kind of in the back. And what this access gives you is this is where the rail uh, sits. There's no lighting in here whatsoever, so that's why I'm using the flashlight with the advanced shaders. I know if I hop to a ship, it's going to crash on me. Even though I got tons of memory and I got tons allocated to Star Made, it's still. So this is the part that handles the 
this part of the lift here. All right, so this is the lift basically attached to the rail. All right, just magically floats in the air. I love it. And so what happens is when the button gets pressed, this all these rails switch because it it activates a wireless controller down over here. I'm gonna take a sip. Okay, so right here it's gonna activate the wireless controller, which then sends a pulse. Uh, this is connected to here. Actually, I can show you this connected to. Oh. Um. Okay. I'm surprised this works as it does. <laughs> okay. Because what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to flip. Why? Why, why is this? Why is this working? Shouldn't this be selected too, like this? Or is this... Ah, never mind. Okay, yeah. I have it go to this, to this button. And then this button to this. Because I had this button going over here as well to kind of mess with this to see if I could slow the lift down on the way down. And it's not quite the behavior I want. But I preserved this button off of this so that way you can do more with the logic. I think that's how you deal with logic is if you want to use a pulse, you can kind of take it into a block and then you distribute that pulse in different directions. If that makes sense. I don't know. Logic stuff, I'm I'm not too shabby with logic in these games, you know, like in Minecraft or or this one. You know, if logic makes sense to me, I'll do it. Uh, if it gets kind of complicated, then I'm not sure. Of course, this is attached to the rail and this. Ah, I just thought about that. If I wanted to slow down the rail, so say I want to run this a little bit faster, I could actually deselect some of these rails with this with this thing. So you know how we were going down the elevator shaft, and if you notice, it was we were hitting kind of like the roof. Maybe we don't want to do the speed up of the rail. Maybe until more down here, right? So maybe if I unselect like from here back so that way when we start at the top it's gonna go down fast or it's gonna go down slow and then all of a sudden it'll speed up near the end so that way what will happen is so that way this thing can come in and nestle into here because I had it come in and hit this kind of ledge here I created and it got stuck so then I had to kind of reverse the process and then you know, tweak the speed and that's kind of where I got frustrated with the speed right so yeah so I'm gonna put an access door here because I feel you know it's a good idea to always kind of you have your your redstone or or your logic kind of that concept you know, available and accessible so it's just kind of neat so it adds to the feature of the game you know if, well to me anyways like access hatches your washrooms uh, you know, bedrooms, showers, crew quarters, stuff like that, that kind of just adds to it. This is just, uh, so there's storage on each each side of these. So the, the tension up top is to have you dock in and then it will unload to kind of like a surface cargo area that is kind of large. And then what I want to happen is slowly through the auto pull, this will pull a certain amount. Um, I think I have this pull uh, 50 at a time because I want to kind of simulate the transport of the uh, the of the cargo the materials from up there to there to down to here to end here now this will be the inner part of the base and this will actually head out this way more and will actually continue down this way now what's happened here is down this way I've gone and I've carved into these areas because I wanted to see you know, I'm just kind of mining these because I like to mine these by hand even though you know you can just use the build block I for some strange reason I just have a fetish mining the stuff <laughs> it's maybe it's a little bit of OCD in me maybe it's just the weird thing it's just ever since the Minecraft days right I always like to to go splunking down there and kind of you know, harvesting, looking for resources, and it was just, ah, oh, this is so much fun. You know, it was like a novelty when uh, when Minecraft kind of first came out. And so now, here we are with Star Maid, 
Starmate kind of recaptures that initial Minecraft feeling that I had. Kind of like, yeah, I want to build stuff, but man, this is just, you know, it's getting outdated. And there's all these other games, and there's survival games coming out. And I don't know, just at one point, I kind of got tired of the Minecraft. And maybe that was kind of like what started the whole YouTube thing. And what kind of, you know, you pulled me into this whole world and realm. And then now, more recently, it's developed into this whole you know, thing of of trying to get kind of a few more views, a few more subscribers, and and some more eyeballs watching your content. Maybe people actually watching the content. I know I try and watch the other Star Squadron uh, members. I usually try and watch their content, not to be a fan or anything like that, but I just feel you know, we should always kind of support each other in that way, where where we try and make an effort to watch each other's content. If we're busy and and you're working on other stuff, and yeah, you know, the, and you can't you quite do that on a, with other channels, then that's fine too. That's perfect. This is this is the cool thing about YouTube, right? You got different levels of people that have their channels and that you have their their viewership and their fans and and everything like that it's just it's interesting to see and it's it's fascinating to see what humans do within this whole digital environment right cuz cuz i grew up in a time where we played outside right and yeah you know like early on i kind of latched on to the video games and and the computer games and all that stuff right because it was there, you know. My brother and sister were into that stuff, and and you know they saw kind of like a future in it early on when they were you know, learning you know, all of this technology. While I was just one of those kids going around playing hide and seek and playing in the dirt, going running around in a you know, bunch of bushes on some old you know, farmer fields there, because kind of where we lived, there there used to be kind of like a farmer's field, but it wasn't a farmer's field. It's just open land essentially. And so, yeah, and so, so I just pl we played in there a lot. Uh, you went bike riding because the the city we lived in had amazing bike trails, and so we rode those. And just you could go all over the city, you know, right from the house on your bike. It was just crazy. I remember times when I went with my brother, Lushable Echo, in YouTube land here, and Twitch land. I remember going on bike rides with him into just some crazy places, and it's like, oh man, how do we get back? Oh, it's gonna rain! Oh no! And I remember coming home, just pouring rain, and it was just the rain snuck up on us, and we didn't realize it. And yeah, we went further than what we thought we did. And oh, it's just over the next bend, over the next bend. Oh my goodness, how much further? How much further before home? You know, it's just craziness. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So yeah. So anyways, the base down here, you watch me harvest all of that stuff because. <laughs> I just can't pass this up, I just, and I and I hate using the build block to destroy these blocks, because man, like look at that! Just from this hallway, I've collected a ton of resources. So I I kind of dug to these areas here because I had in the build mode you can kind of go into the wall and kind of have X-ray vision, and so I used that to my advantage to kind of try and design a typical kind of layout of how large I want the base to be. And so the base kind of backs up onto uh, the edge of the plate, so to speak. So I think only a few more blocks that way I would hit kind of the bottom corner of the plate. And so this would be the, the furthest most edge of this base. And I kind of want to make the base a big square within the plate. And what is this base? Well, this base is basically for the Demurian Empire and basically what that means is this is going to be kind of like a forward operating base unfortunately because this is survival this has to turn into kind of like the main base <laughs> and so I might make this just more of the Demurian Empire and their their main base uh, you know I kind of replicated the the gray and the blue I used the gray and the blue coloring here for the base because I wanted to to kind of kind of mess with that plus it was the easiest blocks to create so it's a survival necessity almost I know you could probably go buy blocks uh, I do have significant amount of cash now so yeah so that definitely is that I want to create 
your triggers here that where you can walk into and it will open this for you if the faction allows it. So there's that I want to do. So that way then it'll close on its own. I want to create kind of, you know, a, a whole section here all the way down to kind of like a central command pod that would have computer displays, tables, you know, maybe a conference table and everything because this is meant to be kind of like a forward operating base. So you know, when the dignitaries and whatnot will come and will come into here, they'll come into here, there'll be a door here, there'll be another kind of door over here, and then maybe a tertiary door as well, just in case. And then you're into kind of like the main part of the, the base, right? Then it's gonna kind of you branch off you know, from there and uh, right beside that branch will be the command pod, which, which then will have you know the area that you know, my character would s would uh, sit in as a representative of the civilization of the Demurian Empire, <laughs> and yeah, and so 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 in here there'll be some more cargo on either side in each of those sections. Maybe the last section will have some glass kind of into the the whole base to kind of like a preview and then kind of into the command pod which then will have a you know, massive view of the base and I might make it even go up a bit or not and I'm just thinking this is the height it's going to be at because I kind of you have room to go down I have room to go up tons of room to go up and you room to you do all that stuff so yeah so I need to create some doors here for this thing before someone comes peeking around so <laughs> Maybe I'll just block this up for now, so that way, and I will block it up with with this, so I know that I need to. That's the access. Okay, perfect. And I need to put in a gray block up here, I think. That way, I know. That way, I know. There you go. That's my door. Perfect. Now to go back up. We would just basically sit down again, and then we would activate this to go up, because if you don't, this thing will move and you'll, boom, slide off, because it'll be aligned to the planet versus this. If there was a gravity pod here, you could walk onto here, you touch the gravity, sit down, and I think it will it will work a lot, lot better. Or however you wanna say that with whatever pronunciation of any words you wanna use, and any of that razzmatazz. Uh, the speed of this is slow going up, so I might speed that up, and which might change the formula of how this moves up. But I am satisfied, and it works, and it works good enough. So yeah, I feel this is a great addition to hopefully it's a, it's simple logic. It's simple logic. It's basically this is connected to a button, which is connected to a button that's way down there at the bottom, you know, and then it's connected to the button kind of, that's kind of against the wall, and then that other button is connected to, you know, that button which is connected to a flip-flop, which then flip-flops back and forth. And I didn't really explain the logic of that. Maybe I should, I should go back down there and I should explain that. So yeah, I will be right back. I'll just go down the lift again. Okay, welcome back. So. Yeah, so here's the logic. So again, I was saying it's connected, and it's connected into the this this flip flop. The flip flop. I should almost make access. You can't really see it. Uh, let's just do this. So it's gonna pop in here. This is all cargo spaces that I'm walking in right now. So this w would be full normally with cargo. So I put lights in here in case there's no cargo. And this is kind of like a transfer station. And eventually, this will be empty once it's empty up top. And then on the other side of the door is when all the cargo really is going to kind of sit, right? So so anyway, so this T flip flop is connected um, to. We have this button and then this button, which then I think this button is connected to the wireless, which then the wireless is connected to the other one on the lift, right? Which is kind of a separate entity, a separate ship, and then this thing is then connected to this not gate and to this button which this button is connected to this rail which is then connected to the rails going up and down all right and then we have the not gate which is then connected to this button and this button this button will send a signal to the wireless again to reverse the the thing within the net like it's almost identical setup 
And then we have this button, which then is connected to this, which then makes the logic, the elevator go up. Quite simple on that, actually. It's simple logic, I think. <laughs> Maybe to some people it's not, but, and so that wireless thing, to connect a wireless thing is actually easier. I, if you notice, I have the marker beam in my inventory, but I asked someone on the server, and actually that's not necessary. I'm just gonna remove these. And w what you do is when you're in in the build mode of this, oh no, sorry, when you're in astronaut mode, you go to this wireless one, you go select, and then you run to the other one. So you'd run over, over to the other one here. Okay, never fails. There's always something that goes on in our family. You know, they asked me to let the dogs out, and it's like, are you serious? I'm, I'm recording right now. And they go, yeah, yeah, we got to go to the pools. And I'm thinking, really? So I have to stop recording, and here I am again. Why I mention it, I could have just carried on and edited, and, and no one would ever know. But I... I mention it because that's the fun part about YouTube, you know. How many people are actually you listening to this and watching at this point of the stage? You know, this would be kind of near three quarters of the way through, probably, maybe half. And so, yeah, so sometimes it feels like you're talking to yourself. But the same note, I don't really give a crap. <laughs> you know, it's always a bonus when people watch this stuff. And if people not, hey, that's no big deal. I don't care. I won't be offended. So... This rail here, you'll see, goes down. You press the button, it'll change this rail here. It'll flip it up. This will start to go up. Then, at the same time that that gets flipped, the wireless activates here to then flip these rails the other direction. And then in comes this guy, right? So, very, very interesting. And I wanted to attach it to a button because I wanted to have it slow and then speed up you're near the end and then I want it the other way around as well I want it slow and then speed up at the end so I might need to make a couple buttons uh, yeah maybe a button here and a button over here so that way when it's coming it's slow then it triggers the button boom it goes faster it triggers the button again it ignores it so kind of like a, a knot gate or like a T flip flop with a knot gate probably and it's going to go down the end. Then it's going to come back. It's going to flip. Because it'll be the next tick. Which then will cause it to flip. Bang. It's going to speed up. It's going to flip. It's going to ignore it. And then come back. And let's say hi to Fuse. Fuse MC. Definitely check out his channel. <laughs> I have everybody's Star Squadron. You link or all the other Star Squadron members are down below in the description. You check it out. I definitely recommend you check everybody's channel because why not that's the whole point of this right is to to find the other youtubers that you might want to enjoy to watch that you maybe have interesting content that kind of you get you excited so yeah you know you get you excited to play star made you maybe you know to come up with your own designs to, to come up with your own i did push r let's try that again Ah, there we go. It just didn't register. So yeah, so yeah, so that's kind of what YouTube is for. So yeah, so I want it, it, it to go up slowly, and then near the end to speed up. Um, I'm thinking about speeding up the horizontal up and down in the same manner as down below, which will be relatively simple. Just add some T flip flops with the knot gate, then that way I have control over that, and that way then I can kind of you do that behavior that I described down there. Now if I'm in if I'm in the wrong in my thinking, just you definitely comment down below. I don't, I don't mind that at all. But I'm thinking I'm correct, just because I, I do have a good understanding of what logic is. And yeah, here's my ship. Haven't really worked on it. Do have a bunch of blocks in my inventory to work on it. Got a lot of black advanced armor, and so maybe let us finish off with placing a few blocks down onto our big massive ship here our, our minor ship with warp drive technology and cloaking technology that I want to add to it and you know 
one that's having power issues at the moment and it's like really i put as much power as i could you know fit into this design and you try to overlay them as as much as possible so let's sit down in our wonderful cockpit here as we look out and we're gonna hop in and then now we're in the build mode we're gonna grab these blocks and basically what i need to do is i need to create a plane of, of symmetry and then we basically need to finish off all of these things now I'm going to the top of the engines here because I'm not sure how high I want to go. And so that's kind of what I've done, right? And I've kind of replicated, and I went up to here and I'm I'm not sure how I want to kind of carry on going diagonally. So I was just going to kind of place the scan charged. Okay, hopefully, yeah, see that's one thing I've noticed the scanner. Even though I'm in the build mode, you'll notice the scanner is one of those. So if I go into like another page of buttons and then go back into build mode, then that behavior, um, no, sorry. Then that behavior stops. No, oh, scan charge, it's still, so maybe that's something else. Maybe that's something for the developers to look at. <laughs> so I wanna do that. I wanna kinda carry on with the, the diagonal blocks here so it protects the the cores or the the power here and so that way we can kind of bring it up um, yeah see I'm not sure how I want to do this maybe we'll just go all the way up to here and then we'll 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 knock out some blocks maybe we'll just kind of step it downward one block at a time and then maybe we will yeah, okay, so that's two. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. We'll see how that looks. And then here we'll just place a bunch of blocks like so. And this is kind of how I build the ships right now. Um, I do plan on building a shipyard. That definitely is a must. Because we need to, to create the shining example of, of what our, our facilities you know will look like that are, are in space, right? And the kind of the massive size of ships that I plan on building. You know, our next project I think will be a, a battle cruiser. Uh, it needs to have a you know, whole bunch of stuff in there. I kind of have some ideas of, I'm putting down on some paper, kind of the size requirements. Uh, this ship is going to be tiny compared to that one. So yeah, I'm going to need a lot, a lot of blocks, a lot of blocks, a lot of resources. So yeah, so first things first, First is I need to establish production facilities here in in this underground facility that we have here, and with that we will then you be able to mass produce blocks and other components, and then we will be able to you fuel the empire with more more stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> how much more professional can you say that, right? Now whether or not the other star squadron people will use this information that's another story maybe that's part of the story the the overarching story of what's occurring within the the star squadron server here and and you know their excitement that they are potentially going to engage in <laughs> so yeah so i don't know exciting times here exciting times i'm just kind of placing these blocks just to see what it looks like because a lot of the times what i'll do is i'll place blocks and then i'll place blocks and then I will continue to place blocks until eventually it's like huh okay that's not too shabby and then somehow we can kind of tie this in to each other and yeah maybe we can kind of fill these up like so maybe oh, that looks so funny see these little gaps here maybe it's just the lighting and the way it, it shines on that part of the the block but yeah I just noticed that there's some kind of texture issues that way with some blocks maybe it's the way my video card renders stuff yeah I actually like this a lot the way this looks what's this oh no it's the way the block is looking see how that block is looking now is that block rotated differently and that's why it shows up like this on these certain ones ah, it's just interesting you know it, it, it bugs me it makes you want to kind of do this 
Yeah, see, I think they're rotated differently. And so we need to do this. We need to kind of fix that. So the rotation of blocks do matter. <laughs> see, look at that. My OCD is going to go, ah, ah, fix this, fix this. Look at that, these four here. Do that, and then we do that. Okay, good enough. Huh? And then there's probably the ones on the other side. We'll get that another time. So yeah, so this is all that I've been doing, is just placing blocks and continuing to build on to this massive sh uh, ship here. I'm trying to achieve kind of like a more squarish look. So I'm going to place wedges in and stuff at the very end, I think. That way then we can kind of see what this potential beast is going to look like and then kind of add in some finishing details now i might be building this all wrong and maybe there's better ways of building and i guess that's the cool thing about star made right there there really isn't any rules per se there might be some master builder way of building stuff and and all of that kind of crazy stuff right but for me yeah, it's a, it's a game, right? It's a game, and I'm here to have fun. I'm here to kind of you know, drink my drink and my and eat my tasty treats. Yeah, I had a drink. And, uh, oh, crap. Can we undo? Okay. Now, I want to see if that's still connected. Ah, whatever. That's fine. Undo should kind of fix it. Um, because I right-clicked by accident. Not sure why. But that happens. That happens. Because I think there's other games that use the other way. The right click and the left click. And I might replicate Star Made to match all of my other games. Oh, what's this? There's a gap. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So I can place some more of these recharger units maybe on this side here. Do I have any of those on me right now? I think we do have some. This is where we need to turn off the... The symmetry plane because I wish there was a way of kind of turning it off but not unsetting it odd symmetry mode place plane in the middle or on the edge yeah I'm not sure what that means mirror blocks like weapon computers hazard stripes oh, that's kind of cool we'll have to play with those advanced settings to see what they do so here I can, I think I can just, oh, no, I think here I can just place, yeah, and it's not going to do it on the other side, because I don't know what it's like on the other side there, so I'm just kind of just doing it on the one side here. We can go through, yeah, we're just going to go right down to the edge here, boom, and that's it, we're out, we need to build more, and then I think I want to place them in here once we have our systems and you decided upon and in place here and then I want to put more here and then we have this gap up here that we can utilize I'm not sure if I want to utilize it for power storage or for a whole bunch of these guys and then and then up yeah because up here we have another row of, of, of those bad boys right so one two three ah oh, actually it's interesting yeah, I don't know. We'll have to kind of check that out. I might add other systems into this wall here and then cover it up. Because that's what this top part is. It's to kind of cover up this this cargo hold area that's all connected to here, which is connected to the, the, the dock. We got the button here that you can activate from inside, so that way you can control the flow of goods. And so, yeah. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, it wasn't too long for all of you. I appreciate all of you watching, and definitely check out all the other Star Squadron you folks, because, yeah, just, yeah, just because they got some cool stuff, you know, they got some cool footage that you, you should definitely check out, and yeah, so thanks everybody, ah, I'm stuck in the ship, <laughs> that's what happens when there's no gravity, right, you're able to, oh, my outside, no, I'm inside, so I'm going to kind of use the fake gravity, there we go. Be poof. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.